All right, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's VMP here. Welcome back to a little more of a new dawn. Um, so, last episode, we had a pretty, pretty good end, I'd say. I mean, we took another town. That's always a good thing. Um, we have a pretty huge army right now. We're maxed out at 380. Um, the reason I say maybe a good thing is... Uh, uh, we are really low on money, guys. We only have 17 grand, and our weekly wage is 60. So... Basically, uh, we don't have enough to pay for all these guys. Um, and so while we have them, before they start leaving us because we're not paying them, we should probably put them to use. And so what I'm thinking today is that we just go on an absolute blitzkrieg and try to take as many Vager castles as we can um, before we start losing these troops. And that way, if we lose some of the troops taking the castles, then we don't have to pay them. I mean, it's kind of a win-win. <laughs> if you're looking at it from Mason, from Mason's point of view, dead troops equals troops that he doesn't have to pay. So I might as well use them. So, let's go over here. Um, the problem is, some of the, a lot of these castles that are left, I believe, are siege tower castles. Um, we do have Artimenter with... Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I didn't realize it was the end of the week already. <laughs> okay. What are we down to now? New debts, 3,000. Okay, so now we owe, <laughs> we owe 3,000. That's not good. Um, hmm, hmm, yeah, well, I mean, hey, not much we can really do about that. Tell what we will do though. We did take a couple castles last, last episode. Let's make one of these guys a lord. I'm thinking, or a lady. Let's turn Nadia into a lord here. Um, does she have, she only has one leadership, pretty shitty, but we just need you to uh, lead some troops around. So, um, I'm going to give you Ismirla Castle. Yes. There you go, very nice. And then, oh, we don't actually have another castle to hand out right now. Is that it? Just Ismirla? What about Telrog? Telrog's been weird this whole game. It's been kind of glitched out. We don't own it, but no one owns it, and I can't give it to anybody. So, whatever. We won't worry about that. We'll take another castle and then probably give another one out in a sec here. Holy shit, we're going through food so fast. So that has 400 in the garrison. We could definitely take it, but... Oh, it's a ladder castle. Oh shit, nice. Um, yeah, let's attack it. Damn, I thought this was a uh, siege tower. They, okay, they're too scared to fight us. Oh, there's a lot of people coming in right now. But we are going to be able to sneak attack this. So we only owe three and a half thousand right now, which is not too bad. Um, slight problem, only problem being that uh, we're definitely not going to be able to pay for next week's. So let's see, we're about twenty thousand short. I mean, never say never. Um, there is a chance we can find we could find that much somehow. Twenty grand. Problem is, it's just so hard to make money in this mod. Um, well, make that much money. Well, okay, no, I take that back. It really isn't. It's just we haven't done that yet. We haven't really set it up so that we're making tons of money from owning land. That's probably something we should have done before we started Kingdom, but we uh, kind of jumped the gun on that one. We were a little excited. Because we knew we were strong enough to start a Kingdom. We just don't have don't have the money for it. Okay, these Vakers are getting really annoying. They just keep on... <laughs> like, uh... What's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, poking us. Needling us with their little arrows. Not for a lot of damage, but for just enough that we, that we feel it. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Die. Ouch. Who the fuck is hitting me? Oh, it's all these guys over here. Damn. What the hell? Oh, there's so many archers all over the place. Okay, hold up. Let's go take out all these archers along the side here. Um, that way, if we do have to come back in, we won't have to deal with archers at the very least. Seems like our, our boys are holding up okay to them. Ooh. Get out of here. Ah, fuck, man. Dude, the one that thing that sucks about these axes is that they are unbalanced, so you can't really block with them. Um, there we go. That's one archer's nest down. We don't have time. Oh, are you kidding me? Did they just stop me in midair? There we go. Thank you. Oh, come on. Charge. Mason, could you just be... Just put a little hustle in your step. That's all I ask you, man. Just a little bit of hustle. Some urgency. Some sense of urgency here. You are getting your ass just handed to you. No, I mean, not handed to us, but, I mean, we are taking a lot of hits right now. Our troops seem to be doing pretty good, though. Looking at the kill feed. I haven't really seen too many of them go down. None of our good guys yet, at least. And if we can continue to take out all of their archers, then hopefully that will uh, continue to be the case. 
Nice, nice. How many people do I have with me? Actually, a decent amount. Ouch, fuck. Stop shooting at me at point blank range. Pull out a weapon. Let's do, you know, honorable melee combat. Is there anyone else up here? I think that might be it. Yeah, I think that's it. Can we jump over? Do we want to jump over here? Probably not. I think these fence normally have invisible walls. Yeah, they do. Okay. In that case, well, could we get through like there? I'm trying to see how we could drop through. I mean, there is a staircase there, but that's kind of boring. Let's go here. Oh, five damage. Damn it. Didn't think it'd be that much. Hop down here. And now we'll try to do some work. Okay, a few of our Twilight Mints dropped down. Oh, hello. Okay, fuck. Oh, we're screwed. We're so dead. <laughs> we're so dead. They're all just gonna tee off on us here. Yep. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Run, run, run. <laughs> Ow. Oh, I hate the Vagar's range. They're so good. Ouch. Even their shitty ones still do damage to us. There we go. Take him out. Ooh, lost a Twilight Knight there. That sucks, but... Ooh, and a Paladin? Okay, our boys are starting to get softened up, it, it looks like. Trying to get worn down a bit. Or it might just be those guys that are that are falling down and getting trapped by a whole bunch of people. That could also be it. Alright, do they get... Nope, no new reinforcements yet. Why? What is up with these guys trying to shoot at us from point-blank range? This is really, really annoying. Like, they're giving up their own lives just to give one shot in on us? I mean, that's, that's valiant of them. In terms of battle, it's a smart thing to do if they want to stand a chance and take us out, but... Come on, you're telling me all these guys are unselfish like that? Let's quick rip through these guys. Damn it. 14 damage. Seriously? They're doing that much to us? Uh, okay, so here comes the dilemma. Here's the dilemma. Because as much as I'd like, if we could, to just, you know, retreat, come back in, take them out like that, we'd be fine. Um, I don't know if we have enough time to do that, because we saw there are a bunch of reinforcements on the way. Um, oh, the guys are in a real exposed position there, to just all kinds of archer fire. Especially our juggernauts, that don't have shields. I might... It might be smarter for us to retreat this here. We've been relatively casualty free for most of this battle, so we might want to try to keep it that way. Okay, they're pushing through. There's so many guys left, and they're weak too is the thing. Ugh. I just don't want to... Okay, well, we were talking about how we did... <laughs> it wouldn't be a horrible thing if we lost some of our guys. It's just I don't want to lose, like, our best guys. Like our Twilight Knights, our Juggernauts. I want to lose the other people. Although, at the same time, it's the Twilight Knights, it's the Juggernauts that are costing us most of our money right now. Alright, we'll let them fight. We'll let them fight. We'll see what happens. Okay, looks like our boys are forming the, uh the final death circle around the remaining troops here. Um, so, I did want to mention, <laughs> just to remind you guys, we are going to go ahead and stream tomorrow, I'm determined. Um, so that's going to be Sunday uh, at around... Oh, we just lost another paladin? Come on, man. Um, that's going to be Sunday in the afternoon sometime. Afternoon, Eastern Standard Time. Looking somewhere between 2 and 4 we're going to start. Um, probably more like around 3, to be honest. Because I'm planning on going out tonight. We have our first home football game. So that's going to be a lot of fun, um, and your boy not might not be waking up until like 1, 1, 1 p.m. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Alright, uh, I think this might be their last wave here. We, we've lost a few more guys, it kind of sucks. Um, at least one more Twilight Knight, another, another uh, Juggernaut. Um, I'm considering almost switching it so that these guys are not in the front of our army uh, for sieges. And having like our fodder get taken out instead of these guys, as much as they do an amazing job, I just I don't know. I hate losing them. Like every time I see one go down, I'm, I'm just like, oh, oh, a shot to the heart. <laughs> um, I don't know. The thing is, we'd lose way more guys if we didn't. And when we lose a bunch of those guys, that means that we no longer can um, have such a huge tactics advantage. Oh, this guy hiding in here. Oh, nope. They can smell your blood. They can smell your fear. And it's over. Or not. Oh, we took a shot. Okay. Oh, well, he actually got killed. That works. Alright, it's so a good battle. Good battle, I'd say, though. Um, took out, what, 400 of them and probably lost... I don't know how many in total we lost, but we didn't lose that many uh, juggernauts, at the very least. 
We lost three of them. Yeah, that's not that's not horrible. Two paladins, two twilight knights. So seven of our good units to take out four hundred and get a new castle. I, I think that's a win. I think that's a win. All right, there we go. Uh, Who did we just rescue? The Yumnins. One of the Yumnin guys. Okay. Well, <laughs> you're welcome, bro. So let's see what they got here. Ooh, ooh. Oh, not as, not as good as I thought they were. Ooh, Spirit Walkers. These guys are very good. Hello, I will take them. Is it two of them? Yeah, nice. Um, Black Kirka, Honor Guard. He sounds pretty good. Paladin, Acolytes, Initiates. Uh, yee. Okay, Initiate, you're pretty shitty. <laughs> we're holding off judgment on you. High Purifier, yes. Crusader, yes. Gazi looks decent. Yumnin Jarl. Boyer Sons. Um, Bandit Leaders. Don't really need them. Hmm. Kinshis, they look alright. I, I kind of like the Black Kirkets. I want to get some more of them. Is that it? Is that all we can take? Oh, actually, tell you what. Um. Alright, Acolytes, we're going to let you go just to take these Warchagian Guards. And then maybe... Um, ringleader, they're pretty decent. Let's get a Valkyrie. Okay, I think that's pretty good. 381 still. Um, do we have any shitty units that we want to get rid of here? Shock troopers, not horrible. We have so many of the man at arms, the hobblers. Um, all we need is money to be able to upgrade them. All right, you know what? I think this is good here. This is good. So what do we get here. It's always some good loot, man. All right. Companions collect it all. And give this to uh, Floris. Yeah, there we go. She should be happy with that. Um, well, I almost want to take it all for ourselves, but we got to split it among our vassals, right? <sighs> yep, it sucks. Oh, shit. We could have taken a bunch of troops from the garrison, but we're, we're maxed out right now, so we don't, we don't need them. Let, them. let them keep them. All right, so let's see. Um, let's... How do we only get 104 dinars out of that? Do we just get 500? That's what I thought. Okay, a bunch of tiny lords over here. I think that all the castles that we've been taking is really starting to uh, put a damper on it, except for this guy. This guy with uh, 550 Aetherod's Bandits. Is he even part of the Vagars? What is he? I think he's part of the Vagars. He has his own banner, but I don't know. Okay, so uh, Jirb Castle is definitely a siege tower. Um, we need some food right now. So I might go over and stop Bazic from getting raided. Um, there's no food in Kara. They didn't have anything there, which kind of sucks. Are they trying to follow me is the question. No. This guy is. Okay, this guy's running away from us. Tell him to run away. Is this guy faster than us? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He is faster than us. What does he have? He has one of us, <laughs> somehow. He has a bunch of... It's just a bunch of bandits. And then he's picked up some, like, Lockton Nobles. Those guys are decent, but the rest of them I'm not really scared of. Okay, well, we're, we're battling them. <laughs> we're fighting them. Here we go. 424 against 684 all over one village. All right. Believe me, Mason didn't want to do this. He's not doing this out of the kindness of his heart. He's just doing this because he got forced to. And he needs food for his men. Doesn't, doesn't give a shit about the villager lives. I just want to make that clear. All right. Boom. Nice. Alright. Yeah, I think this is this should actually be a pretty good battle, because they don't have Well, okay, here's the thing. While they don't have any horses, um, they are going to form giant clusters of infantry that's not gonna be fun to fight. Um But at the same time, their archers I won't really be able to get good shots since they're all gonna be clumped up. So I think this should be a, a decent battle for us. Uh okay. It's kind of throwing me off with all the peasants dying. <laughs> Every time I see one of them go down, I'm like, oh shit, who was that? A juggernaut? Not a juggernaut? Oh, peasant woman. Good. <laughs> as long as the peasant women are dying and not our men. That's a horrible thing to say, but hey, there, that's Mason for you. <laughs> that is Mason for you. Alright, doing pretty good so far. Another farmer going down. Once again, do not care. Could not care less about the farmers. Our juggernauts are doing a great job. Okay, about 70 of them going down already. None of our own men. Yeah, this is actually a pretty good battle. Um, we might do a retreat job if I start seeing some of our men going down and then coming back in to fight them again. Um, this is a great way to take these guys out. The only problem is that... Ah, 
shit, that one bandit guy. He has so many prisoners. I wish we had one of our lords with us to pick up the rest of his prisoners. That'd be amazing, but... I guess we'll have our pick at him. I don't know if there'll be anything too great in there. Probably not. If it was a boyer son, so that's our first unit going down. Actually dying. Um, not too big of a deal. I mean, I'm sure he's got he's got to have something better, right? He's got to have something better. Okay, make that 150 of them dead already. And we seem to show no signs of stopping quite yet. They're running out of good units really quick. I think it's getting worse be honest. Alright, not too bad. Well, I'll tell you what, um, this is just going to be a bit of a slaughter for the next, probably about 10 minutes or so, so I will go ahead and meet back up with you guys uh, once we're almost done. Okay, so I think that's just the first wave, because there's only 400 of them that died there. We only lost the one. Nice. Uh, that's awesome. Pretty sure there's another wave here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. That's what I thought. Um, this one might actually be a little bit tougher. Um, just because they, they'll actually have the, the locked-in nobles at some point coming in. The warlords, I just noticed, man, they went off last battle. And there's not really all that many of them. So the fact that they were getting as many kills as they were, um, it's kind of impressive. There's some really nice units there. Um, we need to actually test out the spirit walkers and see what they can do. But I just remember, whenever we've faced the spirit walkers, we can barely do any damage to them. So if we're not doing any damage to them, how much damage are uh, you know regular units going to be doing? Should be basically nothing. At least that's my uh, my line of thinking. I might actually tell you what, we, we could. We could probably look them up on the tree and see what kind of armor they, they have. Because um, I'd be shocked if it was better than the Juggernauts, but I'll tell you what, man. Hitting them feels basically just like hitting Juggernauts in terms of the damage we do. Uh, okay, yep, they got more. Village Guard going down. That's not one of ours, right? I don't have any village guards. I hope we don't. Jesus. We probably missed out on a lot of good units if we kept uh, crappy little village guards. Okay, looking good, looking good. They do have those lock-in units that I was talking about coming in now, but honestly, the more I think about it, they're not really amazing on foot. Like, their main advantage is that they're, like, not light cavalry, but, like, medium cavalry, but that they're, they have forces, they can do charge damage on foot. Not really all that intimidating, to be honest. Um, they're going down real quick. How did someone dismount a Juggernaut? I thought their horses were like... Like verified tanks. Like the medieval version of tanks were basically their horses. I guess I, I, guess I was wrong. Alright, some more villagers going down. Still none of our guys. Still looking good. Damn, we're gonna miss out on a lot of prisoners here probably. Well, I mean, we can always get rid of the shitty units that we currently have in our group. Um, but it's just not too many of those. We have a pretty good army. Pretty good army of 380. Uh, the problem is just paying for it, so I guess we're just gonna go off while we can. Um, and if we keep on winning... See, I, I, in almost no series have I ever gone broke, have I ever gone into debt. Um, I always feel like, oh, we gotta pay our troops. But Mason, that's not a priority, man. Winning is a priority. Um, hmm. So I don't really know how that works when you go into debt. Um, your troops, I assume they start to lose morale over time. Uh, I assume some of your heroes will get pissed off at you. Probably Amira's going to get pissed off at us, and that'll kind of suck because she's our big healer. Um, we don't want her to leave. But if we can just, for the morale, if we just keep on taking battles like this and keep on winning big-ass battles, there's no reason um, why we shouldn't be able to offset that morale hit with just continuing to kick ass. I don't know. That's my thinking, at least. All right. Uh, you're my prisoner for being a bitch. Um... Foreign longbowmen, they look pretty legit. <sighs> what do we got here? Ooh, some night ants. Yes, some more eds. Awesome. Okay, who are we going to give up for them? Probably, I mean, if you get rid of the the Valkyries, to be honest, they're pretty expensive. And honestly, I don't know if they really do all that much. So what do we got? Eight. Um, hire you, and the locked in constable. Um, <laughs> mercenary lancers? No, not terrible, not terrible. Ironclads are actually pretty good for their price. The Sharians, ooh, another spirit walker, we'll take him. Hmm, I think I, I, think I want to get the, uh, these ironclads here. I think that'd be a good idea. Hmm, 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 hmm. So what do we want to get rid of here? Definitely get rid of the highwaymen. Um, and we need five more. 
Hammer throwers? Eh, hammer throwers are actually pretty decent, though. Bandit leader we'll get rid of. Blade masters. Yeah, we're just going to get rid of them. They're honestly shit. Um, that's enough. There we go. Where are they at? Boom. Awesome. Okay, well, that works out. I think we're pretty good here. I'm sure I'm probably missing some decent units here, but not all that upset about it. What? We didn't get any loot for that? What the fuck? Come on. Damn it. Could really use some loot. Okay, let's uh, at least get some food. Oh, fuck. We don't even have any money for food right now. Uh, I guess we're going to have to sell off some of this armor, I think. Karah has been besieged. Seriously? Hmm. <sighs> Do I want to go stop that? They're probably not even that strong is the thing. We could definitely stop that. Take out a whole bunch of their lords. Or we could go get some more castles. <sighs> Alright, let's head down. Let's go check out what, the, what it's looking like. Oh, 470. No, okay, we can't do that. We can't do that. Alright, so let's head up. Let's go look at... Uh, probably not Jerb Castle because I'm pretty... Like I said, I'm pretty sure that's Siege Tower. But... Oh, God, morale's low? What? Morale's high. Oh, it's a bunch of the uh, Vager units are leaving us right now. Because their morale is low. Right, there's some beef. It cost us most of our money. Um, oh, man, this is a problem. This is a problem. All right, let's go take out this castle. Or maybe even maybe even Warchag. Let's go for Warchag. If they want to take Karab back, that's fine. We'll take one of your other towns. That's how this works. Emperor Yaroglek is in there. Oh wait, no. Oh, I can't. I can't take that with Yaroglek in there. He's too. Uh, he's got too many of those Imperial Sentinels. And Warchag is just a horrific castle to try to take. We're losing so many of the. Uh, so many of the other units. Okay, we're going for this one right now. All right, so they took Karab back. That's fine. We can take it right back. I'm not worried about that. Okay, we do have money building up in different places. Um, that's the one good thing. Corral, we actually have some money in right now. Tier we do. Suno. Kadan has a lot. Okay. Okay. There are places we can go. There are places we can go. All right, boys. Let's let's take these guys out real quick. Head back. Take Corral back. Oh, this is actually a really nice castle for us, I think. This will be a really nice siege. Should be. All right, come on, boys. Do have a lot of two-handed units up front. Don't really like that much, but um, yeah. As soon as we as soon as we close the gap here, we should be fine. I'm gonna kill this guy just so none of our troops come after him, and just so we're not the first one in. Get knocked the fuck out. All right, there we go. Let's head in now. Can we get a? Damn it. <laughs> Getting a little cheeky there. Alright, here we go. Let's go after some of these guys. We might switch to the other axe again. I just like the other axe better. This thing's too slow, and it honestly does not do that much more damage than the other one. There we go, there we go. Take them out. A little bit of strafing that I can on this tiny little platform, which is not much. There we go. Yeah, okay, this is going to be good siege for us. See, we're, we're crushing them. We're killing so many of them. Um, yeah, we just got to make a push. Right? We just got to make a push. Probably going to have to let go of a lot of the Vager units, since our morale is going to be low, um, as we continue to take more and more of their cities and whatnot. But, I mean, what are you going to do? We're just going to have to use other guys, which we have plenty of. And we just have to keep on pushing, even if we're losing money. Um... As soon as this is over, as soon as this, as soon as we're at peace, man, uh, I'm gonna have to work a lot on our uh, revenue stream because um, I don't like us being low on cash like we are right now. I want us to always be able to, if we see, if we see a bunch of juggernauts in the tavern, I always want to be able to recruit them and not have to be worrying about cash and paying for their wages, or even like we are right now, not even being able to pay their upfront cost, the hiring, the signing bonus. Okay, so still seems to be going pretty well. Um, take out those archers. I got a bunch of these guys coming in, but it's nice because none of their archers are firing. Right, they don't really have any archers here. Alright, let's see. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Stop hitting me. Please. There we go. 
And then also, once we have peace, we'll have time that we can go out and actually start recruiting some, uh, like some of those Rodok units. I want to get some more champions. I want to get some of their sharpshooters, their snipers. Um, and then we'll be in business. That will be good. Take you out. Take you out. Come on, boys. Get through that. Go through that lineup over there. I'll hold these guys off almost single-handedly. There we go. Now they're through. Yeah, we got a bunch of scrubs coming in now. I think this battle's almost over already. We've been tearing through these guys. Yeah, 200 of them dead already. I think I don't think they had much more than like 300. So these guys coming in right now, absolute, <laughs> absolute trash. All right, so uh -huh. at some point we need to get some better armor. I mean, it's been fun playing as a Bloodlord right now, but it's kind of annoying when even like some of their weakest units can uh, take us out, especially their archers. It's, it's just their weak archers because they can do damage to us and stun us. It really hurts us. If we were just a little bit stronger. To be able to do so much better against these Vagers um, if their archers just didn't stun us, but they do. <laughs> See, like that. That Look at how trash this guy is. He's one of their weakest guys, and he's still dropping, you know, like six damage on us for just a little little archer or a little uh, arrow to the uh, chest. That's not enough. It's not enough. We need more armor. So the question is do we go back to Juggernaut armor? Probably not. I think what we're going to do is eventually try to get some of that. Uh, that champion armor, the real good shit. Because we haven't actually used that yet. Alright, this is rapidly coming to a close. <laughs> Mason's just swinging. Every time he swings, another one falls. This is great. This is what we like to see. Come on. Boom. That was a really good siege. That was way better than the last one, actually. Um, which means this probably is not a castle that we want to hold. Well... We probably actually wouldn't do terrible in a siege defense in this castle. Um, just because this castle is one of the ones that it makes it not about archery and all about melee. So we'd probably do better holding this one than holding like uh, a different one against all the Vagar archers. Alright, bring another one from the Yumnins. You're welcome. They're all going to love us. Maybe they'll come join us. Uh, we'll get these purifiers, get the crusaders. Uh, Colites, we might end up getting you just because we're so low on troops right now. Um, the Sharian units. Ooh, Sharian Vipers look nice. Yumnin Ravagers. We'll take them. Yumnin Jarls. The Einhars? Einhirs? Sure. Then... Maybe a couple of these guys. A couple of the Outriders. Alright, that looks good. Ooh, that should be worth a decent amount of money. Alright, collect that. Thank you. And defer appointment for the time being. Okay, split it equally, even though I hate to do it. Um, Garrison, what are we looking at here? Yeah, just a whole bunch of uh, whole bunch of Vagar units that we can't take right now because the morale is awful. <sighs> Maybe I should even drop these guys off. Just because they're going to rout anyways. They're just going to leave us. Um, where are the other ones? Who are the other Vagar guys that we have? That or we use them in the next battle. And we just let them all kill themselves. That's really the only options that we have. Iron Guards, put them away. Cataphracts. Um, heavy Horse Archer. Is that it? That might be about it. Ooh, Vine Breaker? There we go. Ooh, okay, so here are the Spear Walkers. Wow, they level up again? What? Those guys look OP as shit. What's their next level? How do they get better? Okay, we gotta check them out right now. <laughs> we gotta check them out. Um, reports, upgrade trees. What are these guys from? Order of the Sun? No. Um, Korkar? Yes. No. Maybe? Wow, these guys are the lowest level unit out of all of them? They're level 41! What? And they got... Okay, they have, I mean, they have decent armor. How do they keep getting... Oh my god... These guys become absolute beasts. Oh, holy shit. And their last one, 200 hit points. Fuck, man. Alright, let's see if we can level these guys up. That is awesome. <laughs> Those guys are sweet. Alright, so let's see. Um, Let's head into Rivacheg. Try to sell some stuff off. Try to get some food. 
Um, don't have time to chat, man. We are we are in a, a bit of a rush here. Is this the coal cart? No, that's... Oh, yeah, the Serenids had rivet egg. Still don't know how that happened. Um, any landlords? No, we don't have any land here. Uh, Guildmaster, do we have... I don't think we have anything here either. All right, sell items off. Come on. Okay, seven, seven Gs. That's not bad. And they have food. Oh, thank God. Thank God. It's the only thing keeping uh, our troops that aren't uh, from the Vagers with us right now. That little bit of morale. Okay, I got Blade Masters. Won't make the mistake of buying you anymore. Okay. So it looks like it's alright. Looks like we're doing okay. Um, do we want to... Let's head back down and hit Karab real quick. Take that back before they do anything with it. Oh shit, we didn't get rid of everybody? I guess we didn't. That's fine. When we take Kara back, we can uh, drop off the rest of them in Kara. Wow, that was only one day's worth of food? Or two days worth of food that we got? Fuck, we're burning through so much right now. 395? Really? How do they get so many so quick? Do we have a bunch of prisoners in there? I don't think we had too many prisoners. There's a whole bunch of Balian soldiers. 33 of the hammer throwers, 71 of the actual soldiers. Huh. That seems weird to me. Whatever. We can easily take Kara back. And with this successfully being taken back, that'll be what? We'll be up two castles right now. We'll be looking pretty good. We'll be looking pretty good. Um. Alright. Alright, man. Let's go in. We're out of food again already. Jesus. Uh, we're doing it somehow. I don't know how we're managing to pull this off in the series. This war against the Vagers. Because everything seems stacked against us, but we're somehow pulling it off. So, as long as we can keep it going, we'll keep this rolling. Alright, let's go. Let's go this side this time. Well, yeah, fine. We'll go this side. Do a little bit of strafing here. I don't know if it's really doing anything, but we haven't been hit yet, so we'll count that as a win. That guy's about to get taken out. Yep, down he goes. Okay, the good thing is about the hammer throwers, um, that they're not going to actually kill our guys. They just knock them unconscious, which is nice. Alright, we need to make it inside now. Get off me. Okay, these guys don't know what they want to do next. You gonna come at me? What are you doing? Let's go. Okay, you guys want to keep challenging me one by one. I mean, that's perfect for me. That's <laughs> That is the dream scenario. Where I just slowly take you guys down one by one. Oh, that hammer throwers. I forgot how nasty they are. They actually have good armor. They have good armor and they do a lot of damage because of their blunt, their big blunt two-handed uh, weapons. There we go. Clock him good. Finish up. How did that... 16 damage? What? This is what I'm talking about. They have crazy good armor. There we go. Let's just finish off all these guys. This is, tell me this isn't where reinforcements come in, because if so, we're going to be in trouble in a sec here. Ouch. No, it is not. Good. So let's just finish off all the ranged units on this side. Nice. Okay. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Nothing over here? We done? Okay. So now we just got a bunch of these guys over here. Still some people on the far side. I kind of want to go stop them so they're not backstabbing our troops. But I don't know if we can. Okay, no, I see some of our troops going after them. They're fine. They'll be good. So we're just going to chill here in that case. Hey, look at... Stop this guy. What's this guy doing? What do you think you're doing? I think I'm just going to stand here and let you hit my troops? Well, no one can retaliate? I don't think so. Ouch. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, hmm. Oh, hello, Elan. Uh, how did you get here? <laughs> how did you fall down all the way over there? And why are you running back this way to get to them? That, okay. Poor decision making. Maybe we shouldn't make you a lord. I was considering making you a lord pretty soon here, but that might, that might not happen anymore. Is this the same guy? He's still sitting there. No, fuck out. Hey, get out of my way. I want to kill this guy. Oh, son of a bitch, you pushed me off again. Now I'm getting a little salty. I am determined that that guy will die. <laughs> I don't care if we're getting our asses kicked in the siege. I will wait until we kill that one man. If we don't get taken out first, that is. 
All right, down he goes. They got a bunch of hammer throwers now. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. I think we just hit him again. No, it's this guy. It's this guy right here. All right, we killed him. Good. <laughs> That's all I wanted. I like this guy right here. Stop trying to get back into this archer's nest. I'm not going to let you. Was he just holding nothing? I'm pretty sure he just tried to punch us there. <laughs> That's not going to work, bro. That's not going to work too well for you. How are we looking in terms of casualties right now? Oh, we've only lost two. Yeah, this is great. Oh, we're doing great so far. Okay, so we killed 200 of them already. They had, like, what, up to 300s? Um, they're rapidly going down in quality of troops. Not too many of those hammer throwers anymore. A bunch of just the regular Balian soldiers who are at the bottom. Um, so I think we should be good here. Yeah, look at these guys coming in right now. We're fine. We're golden. I mean, we might get taken out. Mason might go down, but our troops will be fine. Uh, uh, uh. And another one. Boom. Oh, they do have a bunch of those archers left. I don't think they're that great, though. I think most of their good archers were up on the walls at the beginning when we took them out. Okay, I'm starting to get some more troops coming down here. Need everybody. There we go. They're coming. Alright, we're fine. We are golden. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Yes. Keep it going, Mason. <sighs> I feel like this war is really going to come down to the wire. Um, I'm trying to think of how we're going to take Warcheck now. Because it doesn't seem like Yaroglek ever wants to leave there. And that's going to... That's honestly... Warcheck is going to be a nasty city to take out. Even if Yaroglek wasn't there with his super elite archers, um, but he is there. So how do we take that out with the Arglic there? I think we gotta... I think we gotta get bring just a bunch of our, our lords with us. Because that's one thing we haven't done yet, is really start a mercenary campaign. A mercenary campaign. Um, just, you know, bring the army around. Then maybe we just auto-battle it, to be honest. We'd probably lose a lot of troops, I know. Um, but there's just... That is, that is one fortress that there's no way we take without tons of casualties um, especially against the Vagers who have the best archers in the game there's just no way how many kills has Mason got in this battle I feel like we've just been slaughtering fools this whole time like out of 400 I bet man it feels like we've killed like about 100 I don't know maybe I'm getting too used to like Prophecy of Pandora Drakehart numbers but it didn't feel like we got a whole bunch I guess we'll see in a sec all right, good battle, boys. Come on, come on. Give me that. There we go, thank you. Gained a little bit of morale. Only lost two units. How do we only gain two morale for such an amazing victory? Oh, we killed 141. Okay, that's a bit more. That's a bit more than I thought. Uh, in a good way, though. Definitely in a good way. Any of those one guys make it in? No, it doesn't look like it. Those spirit walkers or whatever. Where are they at? Did we bring them up? I think we brought them up. Beer walkers. I want to see what they can do. I want them to get in on more battles. All right. Um. Hmm. Take the Yumnin Ravagers. Take the Sherry and Vipers. Um, do we really need these guys? Probably not. Probably not, to be honest. But they're really cheap. So I guess we might as well take them. 15. Mm -hmm. Some more gauntlets. Honestly, I'm starting to think we need to collect this instead of our heroes because our heroes are doing a shit job of selling stuff. Like, I feel like we're not really making much money off of our heroes, so we're going to collect the most expensive stuff, let them collect the rest. Okay, uh, defer appointment for the time being. Um, yeah, we'll split it between everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hate it. Ooh, there's a tournament going on. All right, I'm actually going to do that to get the money, but I'll do that in between episodes. Um, so we'll sell this off. Yeah, see, we're making, we should be making so much more money than what these heroes are selling. I don't know what's going on with that. If they're, they're being stingy. Look, 163, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. We should have made more money off of all that. Okay, we do get some more food, though. Thank the Lord. All right. So I think we're going to go ahead and end this one off here. Um, still a pretty good battle for us. We are a pretty good episode, that is. So hold up, before we do this, let me let me remember to get rid of all the Outriders and Drazenix. 
Truzenix. Boom. Okay. I think that's it. I think that's it for all the Vaker units. So we'll keep them in there. Um, they should do a pretty decent job of holding it. But yeah, this was a pretty good episode. We took another two castles, taking out, uh, I mean, we took out some a huge army that was raiding Pasek. Um, Yarglek is still chilling in Warcheck. He's not doing anything, and their their land is, is rapidly disappearing. I think uh, the Sharians actually took um, this thing this episode as well. So they're down to one, two, three, four castles and two towns. That's not very much. That's not very much at all. Um, so potentially next episode we start heading down. I know... I know Revedin has like a huge garrison of like 800, but it might be worth it for us to try to take that out. It might be worth it. But anyways, we're going to end it off here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, as always, leave some com comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking about this series and all the rest of the series we got going on right now. Um, like I said, we got the live stream going on tomorrow. We're going to have some fun. going to play some of our series. going to play some Feudal World, all that good stuff. Uh, but yeah, as always, take it easy, guys.